A historic number of Americans right now are at least 90 days late on their car payments. I bet you can guess what generation it is. It's us. It's, it's the millennials. Come on, guys, we gotta do better. So buying a car, you have to do your research. You have to try to find different deals because the first car you see, you're gonna be like, that's perfect, that's the one, that's the perfect price point, but there may be better. My rookie year, the first car that I ever purchased myself was a BMW 745. It was my brother and I's just dream car. We really haven't got to the bottom of whose car it is anymore. If you guys see my brother, just, just tell him that that was my car. You try to haggle. Now, now mind you, haggling isn't for everybody. When I, when I got my first car, they wanted 19,000. It had more miles. I said, no, I have a better deal over here. And they'll, they'll try to not let you leave the lot. But I got them down to, to right above 15,000. And that was right where I wanted to be. So you got to keep those things in mind that, that you can move the price point. But you got to do your research and you got to stay within your limits. Know your limits. Don't pay it off. That was a mistake I made. Don't pay it off altogether. If you could afford to buy it outright, then just put a big down payment so that your payments are small and that the interest doesn't kill you and it doesn't compound over time. But you need that on your credit because it tells the creditors and everybody else that, hey, this is a guy you can trust. And that's something that I had to learn because I paid my first one off. So, you know, this is a little bit of do as I say, not as I do. Learn from my mistakes. Come here. This is how you buy a car. Step one. Since you're watching this, you're probably not gonna pay cash for your first ride. That means you'll need a loan. Best way to save money on a loan is with a good down payment. Don't be tempted by TV commercials that scream, no money down. Those deals cost you thousands extra in the long run. Start a car fund today and grow it to at least 10 to 20% of the total price of your future car. Step two, listen up. You're gonna need to think about all the costs required to get that car moving. You need gas. Insurance, oil changes, repairs, the aux cord, a stylish clip to hold your iPhone, and a thousand more things besides. Look, now, you gotta factor all those costs into your car budget before you go car shopping. All right, step three. Listen, every car dealer on Earth will offer you low monthly payments on a more expensive car. But they pass over the fact that it's gonna take you years longer to pay it off. Your budget is based on the total price. Don't forget it. So get your picks up. Get your money up and go out and buy a car. Easy. You're adulting now. Adult.